Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with a letter and a song. Our letter for 18 January is Because You Loved Your Mother. My dear Kohana Eve, your mother lived with you for three years when our love was growing. Several times my outreach to you was overruled by the needs of your mother. Each evening after work, you would drive directly home to attend to your mother. In my desire to move forward with us, it was my purpose to continually assure you that my affections were enduring for you. What could have been Great frustration was instead a source of inspiration to me. It was obvious that you were devoted to your mother, and this was rooted in a godly character. Though you didn't say it, your demeanor revealed that you wanted to be with me. Your attention to duty to your parent did not go unnoticed. I was not discouraged. Your action strengthened my love for you. I determined that I was willing to wait as long as required for you to care for your mother. My love is willing to stay the course uh, because true love is willing to stay the course during the journey and it shines brighter as the journey continues. Your dedication to your mother, as you called her, her, was a powerful example of the way you love me. Your patience with, your, with her frailty illustrated your sacrifice and tender care for those who were blessed to be loved by you. I wanted to be loved by you the way you loved your mother, mommy. By waiting patiently, at times, my darling Eve, it wasn't easy, you came to understand that I would be there, whatever the cost, for I wanted you first and above all others. Most of all, we learned to wait upon the Lord for the promises he revealed when he brought us together. When his will became our focus, then he magnified our focus upon each other. If we always place him above all others, he will always bring to pass those events and promises so important to a full life. This was the same spirit you exhibited by honoring your mother, and it endeared your mother to me. She was worthy of everything you and we sacrificed for her. It pleases me that we assured that her needs were met. We have no regrets, and let us glory in the satisfaction that the road we chose was the highest road. I would welcome her back, were that possible. As for now and in the future, we have our loving Lord Jesus Christ and each other. Let me say to you, my dearest, that it was because you loved your mother that I knew how deeply you would love me. The love of Christ be upon, around, and within you now and forever. Your Kohane. Marvelous thing our Lord did us when he gave us the love of a mother. It kind of it precedes everything else, doesn't it? It's the first love we know. It's as babies, and uh, it's maybe the nearest thing to the love of God. Um, if, if not, it's one of the nearest things uh, that we experience on earth, uh, the love that God gives a mother for her baby, and uh, I might say the love that God gives a man for his children, too. And so, in honor of mothers today, it's not... Mother's Day, but you know, every day should be Mother's Day. Let's honor our mothers like we would honor 
the one we love. Tooralooralooral. Just a simple little ditty in her good old Irish way, and I'd give the world if she could sing that song to me this day. himself in so many wonderful ways. The love of a mother, the love of a father, the love of an uncle and an aunt, and the love of a husband and a wife. And his love, the greatest love of all, that loved us so much that he couldn't stand by and watch as we slid and fell into hell. He himself made a way to save and to preserve all those things that he intended. From the very beginning, uh, and in the beginning, 
there was God. We know that. And, uh, and, and uh, in the present time and in the future, there's going to be God and those that he loves. He is a wonderful God, a marvelous Savior. And he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to uh, die on a cross only to be resurrected into the presence of the Most High God, his Father. And uh, he stands uh, in heaven now and, and uh, uh, stands on our defense to protect us and keep us in the care of the mighty uh, Most High God. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done. And now, my dear friends, may the Lord, even the Most High God, be with you in all that you think, say, do, and are. Thank you for being, and God willing, we'll see you again soon.